So greeting students, uh, now we'll be uh, seeing about your moving iron instruments. Okay, the types of instruments we'll be seeing. So in this types of instruments, uh, the first primary instrument is your moving iron. Okay, first one is your moving iron. Okay, that only we'll be seeing, followed by your moving coil. Okay, these two are the most uh, commonly used uh, electro instruments okay for the measurement purpose so we'll be dealing with these uh, instruments okay first is uh, initial task uh, about your uh, moving uh, moving iron instrument okay so this instrument will be consist of a stationary coil in which the current to be measured will be passed so there will be a stationary coil over the stationary coil the current will be passed and this current is the current that you have to measure okay so a piece of unmagnetized soft iron okay a piece of uh, unmagnetized uh, soft iron which is of a uh, oval shape is mounted on the rigid on the spindle so if i am uh, showing the diagram you can clearly understand so this is one type of an uh, mi so here what happened is that uh, the a piece of unmanned soft iron which is oval shape is mounted rigidly on the spindle okay this soft iron core is a response is a free to move about the spindle okay so in seeing about the working the current to be measured will be flowing in the coil as i said previously and this is what is responsible for the production of your magnetic field the iron piece gets attracted towards it. there will be a uh, soft iron right so the soft iron piece will be gets attracted to the magnetic field and the point of reflection starts on the scale so here the control track will be provided by the control spring mechanism uh, or by the gravity control method which is based on the, on the type of scale that we need okay so for the control spring uh, if you are going means you will be making use of your linear scale at the same time so in the gravity control your scale will be non-linear so this is the basic difference so here the damping will be pro uh, generally pro provided by air friction damping so basically the scale will be non-linear okay so this is an attraction type uh, mi so there is another one type which is repulsion type so here uh, the instrument will be consisting of stationary coil in which the current will be measured so here the current st carrying co stationary coil is this one okay so th uh, there will be a soft iron right so this is what your iron moving iron so here also you can see the current carrying coil and uh, above this there will be your soft iron and this soft iron is where uh, your uh, spindle will be connected with okay that is uh, in case of your uh, uh, spring control there will be two springs around it so a piece of unmagnetized soft iron which is oval in shape is mounted on the spindle so this soft iron is free to move so when this current carrying is energized the magnetic field will be induced okay due to the magnetic field this moving iron will be attracted so coming to the repulsion type so this is the construction of this repulsion type but uh, the working principle is slightly varies such that the instrument will be consist of two iron veins so it will be having two iron veins so here you can see the iron veins okay one is attached to the stationary coil and another one is attached to the movable spindle okay one will be uh, to the movable spindle and another one to be the fixed uh, uh, iron vein so here you can see okay so this is your fixed iron vein and this is your damping vein okay so what happens are the moving vein what happens uh, both the veins will be surrounded by stationary coils the current to be measured will be passed through the coil so what happens is that uh, there will be some repulsive force around it so current to be measured after passing what happens both the veins gets magnetized with similar polarities okay so this is the important criteria in this uh, mechanism so when the polarities are similar what happens so north south gets attract towards each other whereas in case of a north north what happens they get repelled and south south they get repelled so the same thing happens over here 
okay the repulsion force uh, due to the repulsion force the pointer gets moved okay there will be movement in the pointer so this force produces a, a deflecting torque okay this deflecting torque is given by this equation td equal to half uh, i square dl by t deflection angle theta okay so next uh, is your moving coil instrument second type of instruments is your moving coil so generally uh, these kind of uh, moving coil what you can see means it be having your permanent magnet wherever there will be a presence of permanent magnet but in the moving end you will be you have to energize uh, by passing the current okay after passing the current only uh, your uh, magnets will be energized and the soft iron core will be attracted okay so so coming to it uh, working or uh, the construction so this will be consists of permanent magnet which is uh, be stationary so the moving system will be of a spindle attached to the rectangular aluminium okay so here you can see the spindle attached to the rectangular aluminium so a coil made up of a thin copper wire is wound over the frame the current to be measured will be passed through the coil a soft iron core is placed in the space within the aluminium frame so here you can see the aluminium frame there will be a soft iron core two spiral springs will be mounted on the spindle so this is what basically happens with your control spring uh, uh, methodology okay so pointer will be mounted on the spindle so mirror is provided below the scale to avoid the parallax error the spindle is uh, supported by the jeweled bearings okay. so coming to the working the current to be measured is uh, passed through the moving coil okay the current carrying uh, coil is uh, will be magnetized okay the, already there is a permanent magnet okay according to the fleming's left hand rule the torque will be produced on the coil and the coil moves the pointer and the pointer will be getting the deflection so here the tapping torque will be td will be directly proportional to your i okay so some of the errors which is applicable in your pmmc is nothing but the weakening of the permanent magnet might uh, uh, affect it might be the permanent magnet might get uh, weakened due to your uh, on your long period or the temperature effect so springs might also get weakened due to the aging and the temperature effect okay the change of resistance might also occur in your moving coil so that so that only the proper service of your pmmc are required at regular intervals so some of the merits uh, means it will be having a uniform scale okay uh, power consumption is very low okay the only disadvantage in this is, is that uh, it can be only used for your dc supply okay whereas in your mi it can be used for your both uh, dc as well as ac but in case of your mc you can only use for your dc supply okay so coming to the ultra dynamic instruments so this is how your ultra dynamic instrument looks like so here what happen is that the stationary part will be consist of two fixed coils so this is one coil and this is another one coil in series okay why they are connected in series means so the current starting to flow in the first fixed coil will be always flowing through the second fixed coil so the moving system will be consisting of coil mounted on the spindle which is free to rotate uh, in space between the two fixed coils so here it is very clearly from your diagram the coil will be made up of a thin copper wire and will be and this uh, air code to avoid hysteresis so here the hysteresis loss is a main loss that you have to consider in case of this ultra dynamic instrument so control torque will be always provided by a spring mechanism spring control mechanism so mirror for will be always provided by for the parallax and damping is you know air friction damping so the current to be measured is passed through the stationary coil so this is contain the series this forms a magnetic field 
So here you have to consider the another important thing is that current to be measured will be passed to the moving train also by the control swings. Whereas in the previous cases and all, the control swings uh, will not having uh, any uh, play, okay, any kind of play in the instruments. But over here comes the control spring uh, functionality is increased over in this type of instruments. Now the current carrying uh, moving coil will be placed in the magnetic field. So again, you will be applying your Fleming's left hand for your force to, uh, to find the force. So here, the top proportion will be, will be proportional to the current volume, which is square. That is the current flowing through your fixed coil and your moving coil. Okay. So these kind of instruments can be mainly used in both of your AC as well as DC, which is a very uh, good uh, advantage. It can be used as an ammeter, voltmeter, okay, and uh, dynamometer instruments also can be used. So the demerit is that it's more expensive, so it is uh, scale is non-uniform. So the magnetic field uh, produces. Uh, very weak, okay. So, ultra dynamic, dynamic meter can be used as a voltmeter, ammeter, and wattmeter. That was another advantage. So, while using as an ammeter, the fixed two coils would be made up of uh, thick conductors to carry the load current, okay. And when using as a uh, voltmeter, all the coils uh, will be made from less cross section conductor. Okay, in case of uh, watt meter, there will be fixed coil as well as your moving coil that you already know. Fixed coils are used as a current coil and moving coil as a pressure coil. So, this is the main differences that you can consider. So, here for the DC ammeters, uh, the shunt resistors uh, here you can see. This is a shunt resistor. So, for the DC voltmeter, so the resistor will be in series. Okay. Based upon the flow of current, you can uh, based on the external value, you can uh, check it out to your current. Okay, so this is what with respect to this lecture, and uh, thank you.